All right. You got uh, Montana Geology with the Rock Doctor, and we are out with rocks and minerals. Say hey, guys. Hey. Hey. And uh, they are looking at these rocks, trying to figure out what they are. So we're going to get up here and look at them closely and see if you can figure out what they are, just like these guys. Oh. All right, so now we're close yeah, up on these uh, conglomerates. Yeah, like some, uh, sedimentary structures. And you can see some beautiful cobbles. Some of them are tabular, some of them are spherical, but they're all rounded. And these are the basal deposits of the Kootenai conglomerate, which is a stream deposit that was shed off of the fold and thrust belt here in Montana uh, during Cretaceous time, during the time of dinosaurs, and shed uh, eastward towards the western interior seaway as migrating streams on a big coastal plain uh, deltaic kind of environment. And uh, as you uh, um, go up section, you'll see that it gets finer grain. So let's take a look at that. All right, so now you can see this transition from the conglomerate up into the sandstone. And what's going on is that this is a lateral channel migration sequence creating a graded bed. So that the gravels are down in the bottom of the channel and the sands are on the point bar. And then above the sand is silt and clay that's easily eroded and, uh, and removed. And so those, uh, uh, that sequence of gravel to sand, sand to silt and clay is a migrating channel. And I'll, uh, I'll make a sketch and, and show that for you so it's understandable. All right, so I brought a piece of that uh, Kootenai conglomerate into the lab so that I could point out some of the different cobbles um, that are in the rock. These cobbles that are kind of lighter in color are quartzites of the Pennsylvania quadrant quartzite. And these dark cobbles are chert from the Permian Phosphoria Formation. And what they illustrate is that the fold and thrust belt was exposing lithified Paleozoic limestones or Paleozoic sedimentary rocks, um, quartzite of the quadrant, chert of the Permian Phosphoria formation, um, as uh, part of topographic relief that was gener being generated off to the west. And then those um, were being eroded and transported by streams to the east onto the coastal plain that came down into the western interior seaway. And uh, then eventually the migrating fold and thrust belt actually folded uh, the Kootenai conglomerate that you're looking at. Um, as uh, the entire fold and thrust belt propagated from west to east, eventually, again, folding and thrust faulting the Cretaceous units that had been earlier eroded off of the highlands.
Okay, so hopefully you've uh, got some understanding of this laterally migrating channel of gravel to sand to silt and clay of the Kootenai Formation, Cretaceous in age. And I just wanted to come up and show this basal deposit of gravel because it's just so beautifully photogenic showing the uh, nice rounded cobbles in this stream deposit that was migrating eastward in, uh, towards the western interior seaway at a time that dinosaurs were migrating around and in fact these rocks do contain the bones of uh, uh, hadrosaurs and several other uh, dinosaurs that existed in abundance uh, during uh, the deposition of the Kootenai Formation.